Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get stretched resolution on Fortnite in Chapter 2 Season 4. So, if you guys don't remember, um, well, I, I don't, because I didn't play on PC back then, um, they used to have in the Epic Games launcher, like, if we go ahead and open my launcher up here. They were used to, I think, when you want, uh, when you wanted to launch Fortnite, um, but, um, if you went to library, I think you could pick like you could click that well obviously this is the new version of the epic launcher it used to be it used to be an old version i'll try to find an image and put it up on the screen but um yeah i think like here if you clicked on options i think it would be like a um thing there'd be a thing to um to stretch threads well that's gone now so that's unfortunate but um so you're gonna, gonna want to do. You're gonna want to open up your Nvidia control panel, um, and yeah, we'll just wait for that to happen. But before you get into the video, what is stretched resolution? Stretched resolution is a resolution that is not native. So like my native resolution is 1080p, 1920 by 1080, as you guys can see right there. Stretch resolution um, should give you more FPS and it will stretch your screen. So let's say if you're on a 16 by 9 monitor. You can put like a 13 by 6 aspect ratio like my phone it's a it's 31 20 by 1440 p um it's an android obviously because apple doesn't even have barely 1080p displays except for on their iphone 12 which i don't even think it's released to the public yet but um yeah so you can get like a resolution like that and stretch it to your screen because my screen it's 13 by 6 which i'm pretty sure is like 19.5 by 9 so it would look a little bit stretched if it was on my monitor on my monitor but uh yeah so first off what you're gonna want to do i already have a couple stretched reses here you're gonna want to click on customize this will be unchecked for you by the way you're gonna want to click on this and then you're gonna there's gonna be an agreement you have to agree to and where it's like nvidia is not responsible for destroying your livelihood or something i don't know then you just click on create custom res and what's one i don't have they're 1722 by 1070 and 1656 by 1080 what about 17 what was it 17 20 i think i don't know just put in i'm just gonna do 17 22 by 1070 because that's one i know so you just have to replace that and make it look like that this will work for any stretch res by the way 1650 it's this it's literally the same thing you want to upscale your monitor even make it 1440p if it's 1080p you can do that but, um and then you just click test and it will like go black for like half a second come back saying that um it was successful or it most likely will unless you tried to overclock your monitor an insane amount but um it'll come back saying it's successful and you, it'll ask you if you want to keep the resolution click on yes and then it will go back to the original resolution of 1080p and then you just have to click ok and then it should show up by here and then you can just click on this and then click apply and boom you now have stretched res at least for your um monitor but uh so yeah i'm gonna put it back on 1920 by 1080 but uh yeah so now you have stretch res on your monitor and i cannot see it but in my obs yes yeah, so i like to keep those settings and the next thing you're gonna going to want to do is that it carries over to fortnite what you guys are going to want to do let me just move my camera around really quick for a sec all right i did that so that i don't leak my name because there is something that can leak your name in here but uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press Windows R, type in percent, local app data percent, and enter. And it should open up a file explorer window. Like my name, my first and last name is literally right here, but my face cam is covering it so you guys can't do anything about it. But, um, and you just want to scroll down until you find Fortnite game. However, I did reset my cache, which you can do simply by just renaming the folder. So you're going to click on Fortnite game, but since I did reset my cache, I'm just going to click on Fortnite game one. And, and um, you're going to want to click on saved, which is which was, is up here for you guys, because it should be the only thing. And you're going to want to click on config. And on Windows client, I'm sorry my face cam's covering it, but I, you, you guys still know what to click on, because I'm kind of showing you. I'm showing you, but kind of. Then you're going to want to click on Windows client, and then right click game user settings, go to properties. Oopsies, wrong thing. Click on properties. Make sure read only is unchecked. Pull that to the side. And you're gonna open this bad boy up. And you're going to go to edit. You're going to go to replace. And you're gonna go. 
you're gonna go 1920 and you're gonna want to replace that with whatever stretch res you put in so i put in 1722 so i'm just going to um do that and then for your second res you're gonna want to put in like 1070 in my case this will work with every stretch res by the way and then you're gonna want to find whoops i gotta go 1080 and replace that with 1070. Find next yep and replace all and there we go now we have 1722 by 1070 resolution as you guys can see right there now you just want to go up here click on file click on save or just press Control s and um since i don't want to save this i'm not going to save it but um yeah you're gonna either close out and then click save go to file click save or just press Control s but since i don't want to save this you do want to save it though i'm just gonna click don't save and then once again you're gonna to want to go back right click on game user settings click on properties and make sure read only is checked so yeah it's pretty much it now you just have to open up fortnite and it should work if it doesn't comment down below and i will explain to you what you can do to get it working but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um yeah comment down below what videos you want or would like to see and i will try making those but uh yeah without further ado guys thank you so much for watching i'm out peace